new free Chinese computer use AI agent is insane. Today I'm going to show you UI Tars 2. This Chinese AI agent just outperformed every major AI company. It beats OpenAI, it beats Claude, it controls computers with incredible precision. And here's the crazy part, the technology is open source. Hey, if we haven't met already, I'm the digital avatar of Julian Goldie, CEO of SEO agency Goldie Agency. Whilst he's helping clients get more leads and customers, I'm here to help you get the latest AI updates. With UI Tars 2, you can literally watch this AI use your mouse and keyboard like a human. It clicks buttons, it types messages, it opens apps, it does everything you do, but faster and smarter. The numbers are insane. On every single test they ran, this thing beat the competition. I'm talking about tasks that took humans hours. This AI does them in minute. And again, it costs you nothing. Let me start with what makes this so crazy? Most AI agents can only read text or look at pictures, but UITARS2 actually controls computers. It sees your screen, it knows where to click, it types what needs typing, it scrolls when it needs to scroll. The team at ByteDance built this thing using something called reinforcement learning. That's fancy talk for teaching the AI by letting it practice millions of times in a million different situations. Here's where it gets wild. They tested this thing against OpenAI's best agent, against Claude's computer use, and UI Tars 2 consistently outperformed them, not by a little bit, by significant margins. On something called OS World, which tests how well AI can use operating systems, UI Tars 2 scored 47.5. That's better than every other AI agent. On Android World, which tests mobile phone use, it scored 73.3, again, crushing the competition. But here's the part that made my jaw drop. They tested it on browser tasks. You know, navigating websites, filling forms, finding information online. UI Task 2 scored 88.2 out of 100. That's almost perfect. For context, most other AI agents can barely break 70. If you want to stay ahead in this AI revolution, you need to be part of a community that's actually implementing these tools, not just talking about them. That's exactly why I created the AI Profit Boardroom. It's the best place to scale your business get more customers, and save hundreds with AI automation. We currently have 1,000 members who are actively using AI to transform their businesses. The researchers even tested it on games, because games are super hard for AI. They require strategy, quick reactions, and long-term planning. UI Tars 2 reached 60% of human performance across 15 different games. That's like having an AI that can play video games almost as well as you can. Current AI assistants can only talk to you. They can't actually do things on your computer. It's like having a really smart friend who can only give advice but can't help you actually do the work. UITARS2 is different. The technical details are fascinating. This thing uses what they call a data flywheel. Basically, every time it learns something new, it gets better at everything else. This AI uses what they call native GUI interaction. Instead of using special APIs, it interacts with your computer exactly like you do through the visual interface. It can reason, plan, and reflect on its actions, but we don't have specific evidence yet of how it handles interface changes or troubleshooting. Think about the implications. Every repetitive task you do on your computer could be automated, data entry, file management, email responses, social media posting, online research. All of it could run on autopilot while you focus on higher value work. And unlike proprietary solutions from big tech companies, UITARS2 is open source. That means anyone can use it, anyone can modify it, anyone can improve it. The entire global community of developers can contribute to making it better. This is huge because usually the best AI tools are locked behind expensive subscriptions. OpenAI charges hundreds of dollars per month for their best models. Claude has similar pricing, but UI Tars 2 completely free. ByteDance released this as open source research. They want the world to benefit from their breakthrough. You can literally download the models right now from their GitHub repository or Hugging Face. The UITARS2 technical report is freely available. The code is open source. The models are free to use. Even their desktop application is available for download. Now, let me be clear about current limitations. This technology requires decent hardware to run locally. You'll need a good GPU if you want to run the larger models. And there's a learning curve for setup and customization but these are temporary challenges as the technology matures. You also need some technical knowledge to set it up. It's not as simple as downloading an app from the App Store. You need to run it on your own computer or server, but the community is already working on making it easier to use. I predict that within months, 
we'll see user-friendly versions of this technology. Companies will build simple interfaces around the UITARS models, maybe even browser extensions or desktop apps that make it point and click easy. But let's talk about the elephant in the room, job displacement. Yes, some jobs will be affected, particularly those involving repetitive computer tasks. But history shows us that technology creates new opportunities even as it eliminates old ones. AI automation will likely follow the same pattern. Some jobs will disappear, but new ones will emerge. AI trainers, automation specialists, digital workflow designers, people who can bridge the gap between human needs and AI capabilities. The key is to start learning about this technology now. Don't wait for it to disrupt your industry. Get ahead of the curve. Understand how AI agents work. Learn to train and customize them for your specific needs. The speed of AI development is accelerating. What took years now happens in months. What took months now happens in weeks. UITARS2 is just the beginning. There are probably a dozen similar projects in development right now. The companies and individuals who win in the next decade will be those who embrace AI automation early, who learn to work with AI rather than against it, who see AI as a tool to amplify human capability rather than replace it. UITARS2 represents a fundamental shift in how we interact with computers. For decades, we've adapted to how computers work. We've learned their languages, followed their rules, navigated their interfaces. Now, finally, we have AI that adapts to us. This, A, I understands human interfaces because it learned from human behavior. It knows that when you want to close a window, you click the X in the corner. It knows that when you want to scroll down, you use the mouse wheel. It knows that when you want to type something, you click in a text box first. All that accumulated human knowledge about using computers is now available to AI. Millions of hours of human computer interaction distilled into algorithms that can replicate and improve upon human behavior. The technical achievement here cannot be overstated. Building an AI that can see, understand, and interact with any computer interface is incredibly difficult. It requires advances in computer vision, natural language processing, reinforcement learning, and robotics. UITARS2 represents the convergence of all these technologies. And they've made it work reliably the benchmark results prove that this isn't just a research demo, this is production-ready technology that outperforms commercial alternatives from much larger companies with much bigger budgets. Years of cutting-edge AI research, packaged up and released for free. This is the kind of breakthrough that usually stays locked up in corporate labs or gets monetized through expensive subscription services. Instead, they've chosen to advance the entire field by making their innovations freely available. This will accelerate AI development globally as researchers and developers build upon their work. We're witnessing the democratization of advanced AI. Tools that were previously available only to tech giants are now accessible to anyone with technical skills and an internet connection. The ripple effects will be enormous. Startups will build businesses around UITARS2. Developers will create specialized versions for specific industries. Researchers will use it as a foundation for even more advanced agents. Within five years, I predict that AI agents like UITARS2 will be as common as smartphones are today. Every business will have them. Every professional will work alongside them. They'll become as essential to productivity as computers themselves. The question isn't whether AI agents will transform how we work. The question is whether you'll be ready when they do, whether you'll understand how to leverage them effectively, whether you'll be among the early adopters who benefit most from the transition. Julian Goldie reads every comment, so make sure you comment below with your thoughts on UITARS2. Do you think this will change how we use computers? What tasks would you want to automate first? If you want to get ahead of the curve with AI automation, we have a complete SOP and process inside the AI Money Lab. You'll find the link in the comments and description, along with over 100 use cases showing exactly how to implement AI in your business. We have 19,000 members sharing strategies, tools, and real results every day. For those of you serious about scaling with AI, consider booking a free SEO strategy session. We'll show you exactly how AI can transform your marketing and help you get more customers. The link is in the comments and description. The future of work is here. It's powered by AI agents like UITARS2, and it's available to anyone willing to learn and adapt. Don't get left behind. Start exploring this technology today. Your future self will thank you for taking action now rather than waiting for others to lead the way. UITARS2 is just the beginning. This is your invitation to be part of the AI revolution. The tools are free, the knowledge is available. The only question is whether you'll take action.